Good morning and welcome to this episode of Poji OG. We've made it up here to Aksumar Litsum. Looks like one of the favorite spots for the locals, Austrian locals. So we're here to shred. I've actually challenged Dustin to a game of Nar today. Nar. So, I just want you to know I'm the best rider on this mountain. Uh, he's starting early with his Nar points, but we'll see if I can catch up with stat. <laughs> You see, the thing that Dustin doesn't know is that I actually waxed my board better than he did. So I'm about to send it. You'd say the NAR factor is uh, looking good? Yes, yeah. We're at NAR. <laughs> We're at NAR. The top of Tyrol and the chapel of Our Lady of the Snows. Yeah. We're going to finish our ride for the day, head back to Innsbruck, make it in time for the 6 p.m. Mass. Last Mass of the year. That's the best way to go out. Celebrate with the Lord. Let's get some NAR points here. Points. Here it goes. Dustin, we just finished the uh, last run of the day, and I checked the scorecard, Yeah. and we broke even at broke zero even points today. Zero points. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we got today. <laughs> Heading back to the monastery.
We finish the year with the Norber teams and the Innsbruck community by singing the Te Deum, praising God for being so good to us throughout 2019 and praying for continued blessings in the year to come. It was an honor to be welcomed so warmly by their community and to pray with them. Father Seart even offered us a grand tour of the monastery. We were impressed by the many beautiful pieces of art. <laughs> the timeless treasures that were used in the monastery's community prayer, even as far back as 400 years ago, and of course the beautiful library. Father Seart also humored us by allowing me to interview him. Speak slowly. I'll speak slowly. Father, thank you for having us at, in your monastery. I think this is a very cool area because with my loose translation, it says here on the ground, don't take pleasure or affection so much in clothing, but in character. And then you see, you know, popular brand names, which many people love and uh, put more affection into than character. But then you have the simplicity of the habit. So you're wearing the habit now. So my question is, do you ever get confused as being the Pope? Uh. <laughs> Do people ever see you and say, ah, Papa, no, no, not me. Papa. <laughs> not me. So they ask for his blessing? But I was never a talk. No. <laughs> but the color, the white color, is, it's, it's different. We were with the Benedictines last week, yeah. and they have black. And the habit is very significant. For them, it means they're putting on their death. The day that they put on their habit, it's the day they die to themselves. It is a resurrection. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a... Uh, we, we wait all for the resurrection and this is a, a symbol mm. that we, we uh, yeah. Well, we all aspire yeah. to. Yeah. Well, thank you, Father. Thank you for this wonderful interview. Don't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Father Seart and the Norbertine community for welcoming me and my seminary buddies to their monastery and also for their example of joy, for living lives that show a deep joy which is to be found in the resurrection of Jesus and in our own participation in that resurrection. Thank you Austria for being so good to us and letting us find such nar. And thank you Italy for welcoming us back so warmly as we return to Rome for another year of studies. Thanks everyone for tuning into this episode of Pogiogi and please join us next time. <laughs>